Hi, this is JC from Turboist, and today I'll be showing you how to balance the off 37 gimbal. But first I want to show you what a balanced gimbal looks like. As you can see, the tilt, roll, and yaw axis is balanced. Wherever I move the, the gimbal, it stays put. It does not want to fall to either side. So that's a balanced gimbal. So I'll be showing you how to balance the gimbal in the next three short steps. The first axis we're going to balance will be the tilt axis. There's two parts of balancing the tilt axis, which would be the horizontal and vertical tilt. The vertical tilt would be the up-down axis of your gimbal. And the horizontal would be the forwards and backwards of, of the gimbal. The first one you want to balance will be the vertical tilt. So the way you do this, is I purposely make the camera back heavy and allow the camera to drop and make sure that the lens is pointing straight up. You're gonna go ahead and loosen up these clamps and you're gonna slide the tray forwards or backwards until it is perfectly level with the frame of the gimbal. So you want both of these to be parallel to each other. Another point I want to make out is that you want to make sure that, that uh, the numbers are the same on both sides. If they're not, you're going to notice that the frame or the, the camera tray will start hitting the frame of the gimbal because it's crooked. Go ahead and clamp it down now. Now you can go ahead and begin to balance the horizontal tilt. So go ahead and loosen up the quick release on the side and bring the camera forward until it no longer wants to fall backwards or forwards. Once done, go ahead and tighten up the quick release and test out the pitch of the gimbal. Make sure when you move it, it stays in place. If it stays in place, that means that you have perfectly balanced the tilt axis on your gimbal. Next, we're going to go ahead and balance the roll axis on the gimbal. The way you do that is by loosening up the roll adjustment knob on the bottom of the gimbal. Go ahead and loosen it up, and then you'll be able to slide it to the left or the right. Once balanced, go ahead and tighten up the knob. Make sure that there's no play in the gimbal. If there is, continue to, and continue to tighten it up until the slop is gone. If you need further imbalancing, Go ahead and use the fine tuning knob on the side of the gimbal. If you turn it clockwise, it'll move it towards the motor. If you turn it counterclockwise, it'll move it away from the motor. Next, we're going to go ahead and balance the yaw axis of the gimbal. The way you do that is by lifting it up from one side. If you notice that the gimbal falls away from the side you're lifting it up, that means that the gimbal is back heavy and you need to slide it towards the front. The way you do that is by loosening up the yaw adjustment knob on the side of the gimbal. So go ahead and push the gimbal towards the front and tighten it up and check to see if the, the yaw is balanced. As you can see it's still falling towards the left so I need to pull it a little bit. Still a little back heavy. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to adjust it until it no longer falls to either side. Go ahead and move it around. If you move it around and it stays put, that means you have successfully balanced the yaw axis on the gimbal. So 
So that's how you balance the NOS 37 gimbal. I hope that answers all your questions you have on balancing. If you have any more questions, check the description box below. Thanks for watching.